Hi, I'm James, a sales engineer here at Sweetwater Sound. Today we're talking about bass fuzz going from dirty to filthy. I'm playing through a GNL Tribute Fallout short scale bass, uh, going through the Black Star Unity 700 and a 4x10 cap. Here's my dry tone before we dive into the fuzz. First up, we've got the Electro Harmonics Bass Big Muff. Uh, to me, this is the classic fuzz. If you're just dipping your toes into the fuzz water, this is the one to start with. What I really dig about the bass Big Muff is it's everything that the classic Big Muff has, but dialed in just for bass. So you've got more low end response and it adds in a little bit more sustain as well. Next up is the MXR bass distortion. Although it's not a fuzz, it totally lives in the fuzz world. Uh, this is essentially everything you'd ever want out of a Proco Rat pedal, uh, but designed specifically for bass. Uh, it, gets absolutely crazy. Additionally, switching between silicon mode and LED mode, LED takes it to a whole nother level. Next up, we have an Earthquaker Devices Cloven Hoof. Uh, what I really like about Earthquaker Devices in general is their pedals aren't made specific to any instrument, and uh, really everything plays nice with bass. Uh, what's really cool specifically about the Cloven Hoof is uh, it's extremely versatile. You can plug it in, and no matter where the knobs are, it's going to sound great. If I didn't stop that, it would go forever. That's the other thing that's really cool about this pedal is just sustain for days. It will not stop. Next up, we have the Warm Audio Foxy Tone Box. This is a new old addition to the Fuzz family. Um, it's a recreation of a vintage classic. Uh, it's germanium as opposed to a lot of the other stuff today has been silicon. So that's very unique. Additionally, this has an octave up switch, uh, which just adds another level of depth to this pedal. Now let's kick on the octave. Last but not least is the Walrus Audio Jupiter Fuzz. This is Without a doubt, my favorite fuzz pedal. This pedal has lived on my board since version one. And when the new version came out, I replaced it. This pedal will never leave my pedal board because it is the craziest fuzz I've ever found.
One of the things that I really like about the new version of this pedal is they also added an internal trim pot. So you can give it that dying battery sound and just make it be even more crazy than it already is. So just another level of versatility that you didn't have before. So now I've actually turned that trim pot all the way to sag land. So I actually brought a bonus pedal for you today. It's the Game Changer Audio Plasma pedal. It's not a fuzz pedal, but when all else fails and destroying your sound, this is the pedal to go with. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have questions about any of the products that we showed today, please call your Sweetwater sales engineer. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're into more content like this, please click on the link right here. Additionally, for all your music instrument and pro audio needs, go to sweetwater.com.